Hey, are you a breastfeeding mom and you plan on going back to work or back to school and you plan on pumping your milk? Now you might be wondering how to store that breast milk. Well, in this video, we are going to talk about expressing and handling breast milk. We are also going to talk about storage guidelines for breast milk as well as thawing that breast milk and feeding that express breast milk. Hi, I am Dr. Christine Kiat. I'm a board-certified pediatrician and in my channel, I give you weekly videos for any question that you might have in order to help you raise happy and healthy kids. Storage of breast milk. Storage of breast milk is important that we maintain the quality and safety of the breast milk that you would feed your baby. These guidelines are obtained from the CDC or the Centers for Disease Control. There are various factors affecting the quality of the breast milk, which can be the volume of the breast milk, the varying temperatures as to the temperature when the breast milk was expressed, as well as the temperature in the fridge or in the freezer, and also the cleanliness. So before expressing or handling breast milk, make sure to wash your hands first with soap and water. If these are not available, then you can use a sanitizer that is alcohol-based. Make sure there is at least 60% of alcohol. Then you can um, hand express your milk or use a manual or electric pump. Make sure if you use an, a pump that the tubings are clean. If you see any molds, discard those. Then, use breast milk storage bags or clean food grade containers with tight fitting lids that may either be glass or plastic. If you are using plastic, just make sure there is no BPA on them or um, do not use those with a recycle symbol and a number 7 inside because that means there is BPA in that plastic. Also, do not use plastic containers which are not intended for breast milk. And now, we go to the breast milk storage guidelines by the CDC. Okay, so if you have a freshly expressed or pumped breast milk, it can stay in room temperature up to 4 hours. In the refrigerator, the American Academy of Pediatrics does mention that it can stay there up to 8 days, but it is best to use it up to four days if in the refrigerator. Then, if you put it in the freezer, the American Academy of Pediatrics also recommend that it can stay there for up to nine months if you have a freezer that has a single door. Now, if you have a deep freezer, it can stay there up to 12 months. But again, it is best to use frozen breast milk within six months. Now, if you thawed this frozen milk, it is best to use it within 1 to 2 hours if you put it in room temperature. Now, from, a, from the freezer to the refrigerator, it can stay there for 24 hours. But, never refreeze breast milk. And how about those that are left over from feeding? You should use it within 2 hours. I know these can be confusing, so remember the rule of force. In room temperature, breast milk can stay for up to 4 hours. Then, if in the refrigerator, breast milk can stay and best used within 4 days. Now we go to breast milk storage tips. First off, clearly label the breast milk from the date that it was expressed. And do not store your breast milk near the door of the freezer or the refrigerator. This is because opening and closing of the door um, puts your breast milk at risk for changes in temperature which might affect the quality of the breast milk. If you do not intend to use the breast milk within 4 days, it is better that you freeze it right away. Then, store in small amounts, about 2 to 4 ounces, or depending on the amount that you give for feeding. 
This is to avoid wasting. And also, leave one inch of space above the container. This is so to give space as breast milk expands when frozen. How about when you're traveling? You can put breast milk in an insulated cooler with ice packs. And this can last for up to 24 hours. Now we go to safe thawing. Remember with thawing, use the oldest milk first. It's first in, first out. And how to go about thawing? So from the freezer, you can put it in the refrigerator overnight. Or you can also put it in a container with warm water. Or you can put it under a running lukewarm water. Um, do not microwave uh, the milk to thaw it. This is because it destroys uh, nutrients in the breast milk and it can also burn your baby's mouth. So once you have thawed in the refrigerator, use it within 24 hours. If you thawed it in room temperature, remember to use it within two hours. Never refreeze thawed milk. And lastly, feeding express breast milk. Remember, breast milk can be served in room temperature or it can also be served cold. If you decide to warm breast milk, just remember to keep the container sealed. You can put it in a pot of warm water or under running lukewarm water. Again, do not microwave the breast milk or do not heat it under a stove. Um, also, swirl the breast milk because the fat may have been separated. Now, if the breast milk has not been used um, or has not been finished, you can still use it up to two hours. But after two hours, you have to discard it. A reminder, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends exclusive breastfeeding up to six months and after solid food is introduced to continue breastfeeding up to a year. All right, that's the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed watching and you have learned a lot. So I'll see you on the next video. Hi, I hope you enjoyed the video. I am here to provide support and help you raise happy and healthy kids. If you have any questions or if you want to suggest a topic, just type in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe and the bell button to keep posted. Alright?